Hey, Kate, look at Brenda. She looks miserable. Look how slumped over she is from carrying that heavy purse over that one shoulder. Oh my goodness, and those straps are so thin on her shoulder, putting extra pressure on her nerves. Oh my goodness, she's gonna get problems in her arms. Hey Beth, look at Brenda. She's carrying that purse with her thumb, which is gonna strain that joint. Man, it's made of that pretty heavy leather, so it's, it's for sure weighing her down. I know. She needs a new personality! Let's get her! Hey, Brenda! Brenda! You need a new personality! I'm help you! You need help! To help Brenda improve her personality, we gave her the following advice. First of all, your purse should weigh no more than 10% of your body weight, or 10 pounds, whichever is less. A really quick way to check this is you can take a full gallon jug and you can compare it to your purse and the purse should not weigh more than the gallon jug. An average gallon jug full weighs about 8.3 pounds. Also, to demonstrate and to help Brenda not be so weighted down, I used my own purse this morning to demonstrate how you can easily change the weight of your purse. I took this purse and I actually dumped the contents on the table and this is what I found. My purse weighed nine pounds this morning when I started. I then took the contents of my purse and I began to organize them and the first thing that I did is look for duplicates and as you can see, I know I'm a healthcare provider but I had five small bottles of hand sanitizer, I had five pens and four bottles of hand lotion in my purse. So one of the things that I did is I just started to eliminate the things that I really didn't need. By doing that I was able to get the purse weight down to about 3.8 pounds. Any of the bottles of hairspray or hand lotion that I had that I could find a smaller one, I um, replaced that also, um, I eliminated all of the duplicates that I had in my purse. I also took all of the change out of my wallet. I was amazed at, at how much change um, and how much difference that made. The large medication bottles that I had in my purse, I took the medication out and put it in small pill pouches. And as you can see by this picture, I still was able to keep all of the things that I really felt like I couldn't live without. Choose a purse that's proportionate to your body size. Oh. That's better. Avoid purses with thin handles that only sit on one side of your body. Try to choose a purse with a wider handle that you can put across body to more evenly distribute the weight. Buy different sizes of purses for different occasions. The size of your purse should reflect specific activities. Choose a smaller purse if you're going out for the evening or out to run short errands. Or a larger purse if you're going out for errands the whole day. Select a purse with built-in compartments to help distribute weight more evenly. This purse has a couple pockets on the front as well as some pockets on the inside. Um, and it's made of cloth versus leather, which is a little lighter weight. What's your personality? This commercial was brought to you by the Fremont Health Rehabilitation Department and the American Occupational Therapy Association. Thank you and have a great evening.